Welcome, peoples of the Internet. On this issue of, on this episode of Adventures in Drinkworks, uh, this is going to be devoted toward garnishments. Oh, I say garnishments, I meant garnishes. Garnishments are uh, when they take your money away because you haven't paid child support or alimony. And I assure you, uh, child support and alimony will probably drive you to drinking. But this is not uh, about that. This is about what you put in your drinks to make them pretty and more flavorful. Now, the simplest thing in the world, of course, is the Drinkworks machine, which we've been playing with for a while now, and enjoying wonderful beverages. But you've got to have a garnish to go in those drinks. And today, we're going to explore the garnish of the maraschino cherry. Now, technically, this is not an official maraschino cherry. This is some sort of a tipsy cherry from whatever they had at ShopRite. This is Sable and Rosewood, Tipsy Whiskey Cherries, blah, blah, blah. And what is this thing? What's, what are these things made of? Because I, whatever, the, whatever this FD&C red number 40 is, this stuff is uh, really stains everything. So, you want to get yourself a, a coaster or a napkin or a plate or something and put your cherries on top of it. Now, that's only the first thing you're going to need. The cherries and something that's not going to stain, because you will stain your pretty uh, silestone or quartz or granite or whatever you've got. And that is not going to be good when those people you live with are screaming at you. So, that's the uh, first, uh, first thing is your, is, your, is your mat to stop up all of the uh, FD and C number 40 red goodness. And then, of course, you're going to need one other thing. And the other thing that you're going to need is some way to remove, extract said cherry from said jar. Now, this is where things get interesting. I present to you the grabber. It's like a mini crap crane just for extracting cherries from cherry jars. And I say, Hi, is, this, is this thing real? Somebody make this? Where did this come from? Well, I, I purchased this. I acquired this at, uh, believe it or not, Restoration Hardware probably uh, two decades ago. And I keep it in its own drawer, in its own, its own felt case, in its own box, because that's, that's, that's how you treat a precious object. Of course, I, I rinse it and wash it with every use and keep it sparkling. And uh, it has it has held up the test of time. I don't know if you can if you can get these online or on the internet. You might want to look on uh, Amazon. Maybe they have it. And I don't know what don't know what its official name is. Except uh, I think of it like the uh, crane down at the boardwalk where it comes in. Except with this one, you always win and are never um, left with a crying child because of it. Or or maybe. Maybe maybe too much of this will leave you with a crying child because of it. I don't know, but this is this is the go-to tool. So what are the steps of doing this? Well, of course you remove your 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 cap, your top, without spilling said cherries. Now these are these cherries, these tipsy cherries. Let me be honest. Uh, you know, I don't see any real difference between these and normal run-of-the-mill maraschino cherries. They said they preserve these in whiskey. Eh, or, all right. Um, I got these because this was the, the closest thing at hand in the drink aisle of ShopRite. And if you feel like walking down to the uh, ice cream aisle to get the uh, no-name brand maraschino ones. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now how this tastes. Excuse me for a moment. Yeah, you know what? It tastes exactly like every other maraschino cherry. With the slightest slightest hint of whiskey or or am I just am I adding that for my own edification I don't know but uh, this episode has been devoted to the to the garnish for your beverage and today's garnish was the tipsy cherry I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did um, and these go really good in Oh, something like your 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 old fashioned, uh, yeah. Which uh, this one seems to be empty for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. Anyway, I've got to go. Cheers.